Hmm, this feels good. Come up to the fire, ladies. I'm not cool. Now, Mr. Hill, before we move things about, you explain to Mr. Henderson just what you saw when you came here yesterday morning. By the way, has anything been moved? Are things just as you left them yesterday? It's just the same. When it dropped below zero last night, I thought I'd be better to send Frank out these mornings to make a fire for us. No use getting pneumonia with a big case on, but I told him not to touch anything except the stock. And you know Frank. Somebody should have been left here yesterday. Oh, yesterday. When I had to send Frank to Morris Center for that man who went crazy, I want you to know I had my hands full yesterday. I knew you could get back from Omaha by today. And as long as I went over everything there myself. Well, Mr. Hill, tell just what happened when you came here yesterday morning. Harry and I had started to town a lot of needles. We came along the road from my place, and as I was here at least. I'm going to see. I can't let John Price be going with me on a solitary phone. I spoke to Wright about it once before, and he put me off, saying Bob talked too much anyway, and all of him up was peace and quiet. I guess you know about how much he's talking stuff, but I thought maybe if I get to the house and talk about it before his wife. So I say to Harry that I didn't know as that his wife wanted to make much business to John. Let's talk about that then, Mr. Phil. I do want to talk about that, but tell now just what happened when you go to the house. I didn't hear or see anything. I knocked at the door and feel it was quite quiet inside. I knew they knocked it up. It was past 8 o'clock, so I knocked again, and I thought I heard somebody say, Come in. I wasn't sure. I'm not sure yet, but I opened the door, the stall, and there in that rocker sat Mrs. Frank. <laughs> what was she doing? Uh, she was rocking back and forth. She had a apron in her hand and was kind of feeling it. And how did she look? Well, she looked quiet. How do you mean quiet? Well, as if she didn't know what she was going to do next and kind of done up. How did she seem to feel about your coming? Why? I don't think she minded one way or other. I didn't pay much attention. I say, how do you describe right? It's cold, is it? And she say, is it? And when I'm kind of feeling at your apron. Well, I was surprised. She didn't ask me to come up to the door or to sit down, but I just said that. No, you're looking at me. So I say, I want to see John. And then she laughed. I guess you could call it love. I thought of Harry and the team outside, so I say a little shot. Can I see John? No, she say. Kind of dull like? Ain't she cold? Say I. Yes, she see. He's cold. Then why I can't see him? I ask her out of patience. But he's dead. She is she. Dead? Say I. She just noticed the case, not getting a bit excited, but rocking back and forth. Why? Where is she? Say, I. Not knowing what to say, she just pointed upstairs like that. I got up with the idea of going up there. I walk from there to here, then I say, Why? What is he that for? He ran up a rope around his neck, says she, and just went up beating at the apron. Well, I went up and called Harry. I thought I might need help. We went upstairs and there, he was like, I think I'd rather have you go into the upstairs, where you can point it all out. Just go on now with the rest of the story. Well, my first thought was to get that rope off. It looked, but Harry, he went up to me, and he said, No, his neck all right, and you had better not touch him anything. So we went back downstairs. She was still sitting the same way. Has anybody been noticed? I asked. No, says she, unconscious. Who did this? It was right. Say Harry, he said it. Business? Like she stopped bleeding on the happen. I don't know, she says. You don't know, says Harry. No, says she. Weren't you sleeping in the bed with him? Says Harry. Yes, says she, but I was on the inside. Somebody slipped a rope around his neck and strangled him. And you didn't wake up, says Harry. I didn't wake up, she said after him. We must have looked as we didn't see how they could. For a minute, she said, I said some. Harry was going to ask her more questions, but I said maybe. We ought to let her tell the story first to the coroner or the sheriff. So Harry went fast as he could to River Place, where that came from. And what did Mrs. Wright do when she knew that he had gone for the coroner? She moved from that chair to the swamp over here and just sat there with her hands held together and looking down. I was feeling that I ought to make some conversation. So I think I had come to see if John wanted to put in the telephone. And at the same, she started to laugh and then she stopped and looked at me. I don't know, maybe it 
wasn't scared? I would have liked to say it was. Soon Harry got back, and then Dr. Lloyd came, and you, Mr. Peters, and so I guess that's all I know, that you don't. I guess we'll go upstairs first, and then up to the barn and around here. You are convinced that there is nothing important here, nothing that would point to any motive. Nothing here about kitchen things. Here's a nice mess. Oh, her fluid, it did freeze. She worried about that when it turned so cold. She said the fire go out and her jars would break. Well, can you beat the woman? Help for murder and worrying about her preserves? I guess before we are through, she may have something more serious than preserves to worry about. Well, woman are used to worrying about it all. And yet, for all their worries, what would we do without the ladies? There's a great deal of work to be done on a farm. To be sure, and yet, I know, there are some things in Hong Kong Hong Kong which do not have such royal towels. Those towels get dirty awful quick. Men's hands aren't always as clean as they might be. Uh, loyal to your sass, I see. But you and Mrs. Wright were neighbors. I suppose you were friends too. I've not seen her much for late years. I've not been in this house. It's it's around more than a year. <laughs> what was that? You didn't like her? I liked her all well enough. Farmer's wife had her hands full, Mr. Henderson, and, and, and then... Yes? It, it never seemed a very cheerful place. No, it's not cheerful. I shouldn't say she had that one making mistake. Well, I don't know as what had either. You mean that they didn't get on very well? No, I don't mean anything, but I don't think a place be any cheerfuler for John Wright's being it. I'd like to talk more of that a little later. I want to get the lay of things upstairs now. I suppose anything Mrs. Peters does be alright. She wants to take in some clothes for her, you know, and a few little things. Will that be such a hurry, Mr. Yes, but I want to see what you take, Mrs. Peters, and keep an eye out for anything that might be of use to this. Yes, Mr. Henderson. I have to have men coming into my kitchen, snooping around and criticizing. Of course, there's no more than there is. Well, do this all right, but I guess that empty shadow that came out to me, the fire might have got a little of this on, which I thought of that sooner. Seems me to talk about her for not having things slipped up, and when she had to come away in such a hurry. Well, 
I don't see any signs of anger here on the table. Most likely, hmm. it's what it's what to hear. Hmm. I wonder how they are finding things upstairs. I don't hear a little warm red up up there. You know, it seems kind of sneaky, knocking her up in town and then coming up here and trying to get her own house to against her. But in this case, the law is the law. I suppose it is. Better listen up your things, Mrs. Peters. You won't feel them when you go out. She was busy at her. She was busy at her. It's a lot of candy pattern. It's a lot of candy pattern, isn't it? It's pretty. I wonder if she was going to kill it. Or just not it. They wonder if she was going to kill it or just not it. Friends, fire, didn't do much other, did it? Well, let's go out to the farm and get it cleared up. I don't know if there's anything so strange. I was taking up our time with little things while we were waiting for them to get the evidence. I don't see, I see anything loud or loud. Of course, that's why I also think you got the name on your mind. Mrs. Peters, look at this one. Here is the one she was working on. And look at the swing. All the rest of it has been so nice and even. And look at this. It's all over the place. Why? It looks as if she didn't know what she was about. Oh, what are you doing, Mrs. Lee? Just pulling out a stitch or two. I don't think we want to touch this. I'll just finish up to the end then. Mrs. Peters? Yes, Mrs. Lee. What do you suppose she was so nervous about? Oh, I don't know. I don't know as she was nervous. I sometimes do all good her when I just, I'm just quiet. Well, I don't get things right up. They may be too soon and everything. I wonder where I can find this information. In the home. In the cupboard, maybe. Oh, here's a blank page. Does she have a burden still? Why? Well, I don't know whether she did or not. I've not been here for so long. That there was a man around last year, I think. Um, Sandy, can I read? She, but I don't know as if she took one. Maybe she did. She used to seem real pretty herself. Well, I don't know whether she did or not. I've not been here for so long. There was a man around last year selling Kanyar is cheap. But I don't know that she took one. Well, maybe she, she did because she seemed real pretty herself too. Hmm. Seems funny that they are from here, but she must have had one. Or why would she have a cage? I wonder what happened to it. I suppose uh, maybe the, 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 the cat. Got it? No, she didn't have a cat. She's fun at seeing some people have a cat. Mm -hmm. Three, three of them. My cat got into her room and she was real upset and asked me to take it out. My sister Bessie was at that. Queer, ain't it? Hmm. Why? Look at this dog. It's gold. My feet is gold apart. It looks as if someone must have been rough with it. Why? Yes. If they're going to find any evidence, they'd be rotted. I don't like this place. But I'm also glad it's not I hear you don't find anything in here. It would, wouldn't it? But I tell you what, I didn't wish you to be this. I wish I had come over sometimes when she was here. I actually really wish I had. But of course, you were also busy in the day, your house, and your chicken. I couldn't come. I still may, because it was cheerful, and that's why I ought to have come. I never left this place to be this. Never. Maybe because it's down in, in a hollow, um, and you don't see the road. I, I just don't know what it is. But it's a lonesome place, and it always was. I wish I had come to oversee many foster sometimes. And now, I don't know. Well, must not really told yourself, Mrs. Lee. Somehow we just don't see how it is with other folks and this. Not having children makes less work, but it makes quite a house. And, right? Aren't you work only and no company? When did, when did he come in? Did you know John Wright, Mrs. Peters? No, I sent him in now. He said he was a good friend. Yes, good. He didn't drink. And kept his way as well as most, I, I guess. And made his debts. But he was a hard man, Mrs. Peters. Just for the time of being with him, like a raw wind and gets to the old. <clears throat> I should think she would want to live. What do you suppose what to live? Like, I don't know. Unless he got sick and that. The door is broken. You weren't raised down here, were you? No, they did what we are. Excuse me, did it wrong with her. She, okay, come to think of it, she was kind of like the bird herself. Sweet and pretty, 
kind of to it with flattering. How she did change. Tell you what, this is Why don't you take the kilt in with you? It might make up your mind. Right, I think that's a real nice idea. It, it couldn't be possibly be any question to be quick that. Now, just what 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 do I think? I will take it from the pictures part in here. Mm, okay, uh, here is some bread. I expect this has got sweet in it. Let's open the box, shall we? It's a bit hot. Looks like something somebody would give you. Maybe the scissors are in here. Oh, there's something up in this piece of silk. And it smells. <coughs> what is even her scissors? Oh, Mrs. Peters. It's, it's the bird. Oh my god, what is Peters? Look at it. It's, it's like, it's, it's all. To the other side. Well, ladies, have you decided whether she was going to quilt it or not? It? You think she was going to not it? Well, that's interesting, I'm sure. Has the bird home? Um, you think uh, the cat it. The cage is broken. The door is broken. Is there a cat? Well, not now. There are some speeches, you know. They need. No sign at all of anyone having to come from the outside. Yeah, oh look. Now, let's go out again and go away piece by piece. It would have to be someone who knew just the... <laughs> she liked the bird. She was going to bury it in that pretty box right there. When I was a girl, when she said, there was a boy to bring her to. And before my eyes, and before I could put that, forget that. If they had not helped me back, how would you No, no, but I wonder how it would seem never to have had any children around. No, no. Right? Wouldn't like the bird, but think that sang. Because she used to sing. He killed that too. You don't know who killed the bird. It, I knew, I knew. John Wright. It was an awful thing to fly into the house at the time, because he was killing a man when he was taking a rope around his neck. Then choked the life out of him. His neck. Choke the life out of him. We don't know who killed him. We don't know. If there have been years and years of nothing, then a word to sing to you, it would be awful still after the bird was still. I know what stillness is when we home stayed in Singapore and my first baby died after he was two years old and he is now at the oh, How soon do you suppose he'll be still looking for the evidence? I know what stillness is. The law has passed to, to punish crime in the field. I wish you'd seen me in Boston when she wore a white dress with blue ribbons and she stood up in the choir and sang. Oh, I wish I'd come over here once in a while. That was a crime. That was a crime. Who's going to punish that? You must know what to I might have known she needed help. I know how things can be for women. I'll tell you it's queer, Mrs. Pierce. We live close together and we live far apart. We all do the same things. It's all just a different kind of the same thing. If I was you, I wouldn't tell her her food was gone. Tell her again. Tell her it's all right. Take this and prove it to her. She, she may never whether it was broke or not. Why? Oh, is it a thing that the men bring here with a big clock? Getting all around over a little bit like the deck gallery? As if that could happen in two weeks. Maybe you would. Maybe you would. Maybe you would. No, there's. It's all over here as a reason for me. But you know. Curious, when it comes to women, if there was something to think, something to show, something to make a story about, the thing that would connect up this strange way of doing it. Well, I've got the team around. We keep cold out there. I'm going to stay here a while by myself. You can send Frank out for me, can't you? I want to go over everything. I'm not satisfied that we can't do better. Do you want to see what Mrs. Peters is going to take in? Oh. I guess they are not very dangerous things the ladies have picked up. No, Mrs. Peters doesn't need supervising. For that matter, a sheriff's wife is married to the law. I would think of it that way, Mrs. Peters. No, it's not really. <laughs> married to the law. I just want you to come in here again. Dodge, we ought to take a look at these windows. Oh, windows. We'll be right back, Mr. Hill. Well, Henry. At least we found out that she was not going to quit it. She was going to, what is it you call it, ladies? We call it not it. Henderson. 
First symbolism is the tower. Minnie's disorganized picture, which leads George Henderson to criticize her housekeeping, reflects her disturbed mindset, suggesting John's murder was more emotional and dramatic than her calm demeanor indicates. The kitchen's disorder also symbolizes the man's expectation for women to adhere to specific gender roles. The man bore Minnie rather than John, accountable for the home's condition, deeming her an inadequate wife and their comfort with judging women this way is what isolates Mini in the first place. My emotion is about party telephone. So John, the 49 telephone was more than an unnecessary expense. It was a threat to the growing chance of exclusivity and possession. Mini was in alone. This image is significant here because of its in relation to the question of justice which unfolds at the end of the day, where Mrs. Hale learns that the greater pride they cut oneself off from understanding and communicating with others. And in this context, John Wright is the greater criminal and his wife the helpless exercise. So, for the next symbolism in Tranquil Story, the cherry jars or the candy jars. The candy jars of Cherry is actually represent Minnie's or Mrs. Wright, intense on the focus of her domestic responsibilities that pressure her to place her as a woman or a wife. Um, can you, the canning jar or canning cherry is actually to show that it is clear that she fear of the man's judgment. Men's judgment in this story is the cherry and the comfy at the knee. And uh, she terrified that men will criticize her poor housekeeping and mock the women's concern in the trifles. Um, this story tells this jar cherries tell that Minnie or Mrs. Wright is actually imprisoned, um, and she worries that all the hard work uh, she tries to conceal about the crime is gonna break. So for the last symbolism is the quilt. So the quilt that Mrs. Taylor and Peter bring to Mini in the tear is made a trifle set in relation. So the quilt and Mini's choice to finish it in one or two styles by building or nothing. So that's metaphors for his hair in or a girl. So the play takes the act of nothing a quilt to the act of killing a man with the gun. So the play comes with George Henderson asking about the quilt's confusion. Mrs. Hess confident writer that Minnie would not narrate signify the woman's certainty of Minnie's guilt while the man whose arrogance prevents them from seeing women's 